midnight in this house. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. This guy's so beat up now. I could just by a little bit because it's rubbing right at the top on our rotor. Let's see. Trying to get it down nice and flat as best I can. I'm trying to kill it. I didn't need a whole lot to remove, so. Now we were able to shift our differential over and uh, got the proper spacing we need. So one washer for top and bottom is what helped out. And all we were doing was grind it down just a little bit that it's touching.
me see if I can advance a little bit further with the big wheel. Trying to do it as best I can because I don't have a vice. Because I'm at home. This other one over here. So we clear side. You can almost see the light coming around all of there around here. And the only other place we really gotta worry about is the top here, which is where we're having most of our problems. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, it's clear, but I 
I'm not crazy about it, so I'm gonna hit it a couple more times up here. I think the bottom looks good. Still hear it kind of hit a little bit, so we're gonna take it down some more. Can, but uh, yeah, I think we got it for the most part. Bottom looks good. Top needs a little bit off the inside towards the bottom and a little bit off the front and the top. And we should be good. So once we get these all done up. Then I'll go ahead and tighten down these moan brackets. Then we'll see what kind of damage we got going on there. But I thought we should be good. I thought we should. I thought we have it. I think we'll be good.
perfect. I think we got it, my friend. I think we absolutely got it. Gonna have to take down a little bit back here, which is not a big deal, because I'll do that right now. But, voila. clean off a little off the bottom right here and it's perfect we, we did uh, we got our shimming right to the back end of this um, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that damn it I didn't want that to happen anyways we uh, we shaved it down inside just a little bit not a whole lot we're gonna do the, the back side right in here just a little bit more and this side is perfect Still got a little bit of a rub down here, so we'll go ahead and take that out.
down some more.
Let's all break and we are clear. This is great. This is awesome. Now we can do the other side, put this up, slap this bad boy back on. So what did you just do? If you can summarize, just that by the grip. And so to basically kind of summarize what we did right now, um, we've been having this issue with this 8.8 .8 for our 1993 Ford Mustang GT uh, that we call Sergeant Reckless. Um, a couple of things that we ran into, we have a brand new 8.8 .8 carrier with a three brand new 373 and it's a quadrilock setup. We have brand new 31 spline Moser axles. We also have brand new Cobra disc brake setup. The only thing that wasn't brand new in this whole equ equation is the actual housing. The uh, housing was the original housing that came with the car. Um, what we basically did and having problems with was that the the caliper setup wasn't setting up, wasn't coming in right. Um, it was always grinding on the uh, the rotor itself, so it felt like it was getting tugged in on both sides. The driver's side had more of a spacing to it, so it needed more spacers. So what we ended up doing, uh, we took this guy off the car again, and I basically came in here and tore it down in the middle of the night and removed the new uh, spaces we had in here for the carrier. Uh, when I got to the shop I still had a whole bunch of spaces that I had for the old carrier from when we did this and I managed to just stick them over here to this side. So what this did, it just shifted everything over just slightly over this way. So now what we're going to get, we're going to get a really nice deep middle paw print in here when we do that. And uh, with that, the axles were able to come over a little bit. So we can put this guy here, our line here. Ta-da! That's gonna look cool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these lines, which were for the original drum brake setup, because this is for where the bleeder, I mean, uh, your cylinder goes to. We're just gonna reuse them. We're just gonna cut it. We're gonna bring this angle up over here just make this a little shorter so we'll reshape this line being that it's a stainless steel line so it, it'll it'll work out it'll look good trust me i'm happy with that this is good and that that what you hear right there is pad that's the pad touching the rotor which which should be doing it this is awesome i am excited I'm trying to fix this up